like a sex trafficking thing or something because it was a a san francisco area code yeah it's kind of creepy and also why was that girl like pouring milk on her dick <laughs> Dude, it's 93 degrees outside. <laughs> Where are you? Dude, it's hot as fuck. Welcome back to the vlog. What is this, episode four, five? I think it's five. And today we're actually gonna be doing the first interview with the man, the myth, the legend, which you'll meet in a little bit. But before that, we came to Tipioca Lounge. If you're in El Paso, which probably 99% of our viewers are, check it out. John's never had boba, guys. If you think he should try boba, comment in the description. <laughs> That's good. He got this black ass coffee. <laughs> Compared to mine refreshing with the, the face punctured right there. I'll get all my haters. <laughs> We're gonna pick up a little treat for this interview and take him a little present. For taking his time out of his day to come sit down and talk with us. And yeah. We're testing these new mics too. <laughs> I guess that's exciting. Yep. Alrighty guys, so we're outside of Kilo Lift Gym. And we're about to go inside right now and do our first interview with Joseph James, JL, you guys might know him by. And we're gonna let him talk about his training. Um, his band just put out a new album and we're just gonna, we're just gonna vibe with him and see how it goes, man. So that might be him right now. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so we're here with my boy, Jay, JL. What's up? Um, so just talk to them, let them know what you're doing with uh, your training program. So it is called Counteract Training Systems. And I chose that name um, because I guess I had gone through a long spat of depression, anxiety. And so to counteract that, I just fell in love with training. And so I want to take it further than just like fitness of, of the body, but also yeah. not to be a hippie, but just the mind too, man. You gotta train it, the mind's a muscle, you know what I mean? You have to push yourself, you have to push your limits. You really have to test yourself in order to see where you're at. So that's where I came up with that whole scheme. Um, my partners Raul and An, um, you know, they have the same vision as I do. Uh, like I said, we kind of want to take it further than just like fitness. I don't want to call it life coaching, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, we like to implement that into it yeah, as yeah. well, man. And uh, I just wanted to take that side into the powerlifting realm. I feel like powerlifting um, has a big stigma that you need to be, you know, fat, <laughs> eat like a thousand Cheap Big Macs, yeah. yeah. And uh, I kind of wanted to just change that whole uh, outlook on, on powerlifting as a whole. Yeah. I think mental keys go a lot further yeah. than sometimes our body wants to. Uh, I feel like um, our minds are conditioned to protect us and whatever takes us out of our comfort zone, we don't want to do it. So I just wanted to push past that limit. So that's basically what that's Counteract true. is, man. Like when I first met you, we both got into like bodybuilding at the same time. Right, right. And then we tapped into other stuff. Exactly. And like me, I, <laughs> I love bodybuilding, don't get me wrong. And then, but you found your path to powerlifting. Right. And like, it seems like it, you've grown so much more with it. Like you said, just beyond the weights. Yeah, Which is yeah. Dope. Same thing, I could, I relate to bodybuilding so more is it, when people say like, oh, I want to look like this, look like this, I was like, that's good. That's that's a goal. That's cool. But yeah. There's so much more to than that. Like exactly. Spiritual, <sighs> mental, just for your health as it well. It really so it really I goes like a that. long way, man. And um, like you said, I've I've taken uh, the elements of uh, structuring like how you would for a powerlifting meet. 
I've taken that to the way I uh, study for school. Oh yeah. Or even just like my career, like uh, you gotta take things in little blocks, little sections and just keep marching forward. And eventually you're gonna see the end results. But like we were talking about earlier, you kind of have to trust the process. Trust and sometimes the process, the process man, just, it isn't fun, tough. man. Um, what's a term going around now? Like uh, dedication over motivation or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I spoke about it on Instagram a while, but it's like discipline. Yeah, there like, you so go. So when your motivation dips, you need to still have that discipline. To get like, it done. It's yeah. a bridge you got to gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you got a bridge. You got a bridge. bridge you got to bridge that gap, man. Thing, <laughs> 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 so yeah, that's, that's basically that's counteract, true, man. man. Alrighty, man. So now let's talk music. Cool. Um, you have a band, No Suffer. No Suffer. It's been around for a while, right? Yeah, about uh, two years now. Just you, about. You've been playing music for. That's how I met you. Yeah. I, I met him what? Oh, dude. Thirteen years ago, maybe. Yes. Yeah, because I was like I was like sixteen, and yeah. Bro, but, you're like fourteen, dude. It's always like four. <laughs> just kidding. So <laughs> we've been doing it a long time. But, yeah, really long time. But you just put out a new album. So. Yes. Um, how's that going so far? Um, so far, so good, man. Um, we dropped it on our band camp first, so that way we could just uh, see how many people actually care from like an organic standpoint. And so far, so good. It's been really cool. We recorded that album like last summer, so we kind of sat on it for a little bit. Um, we wanted to make sure everything was good with mixing. Um, shouts to XBCX Recordings, uh, Hector from Barbarian. Uh, he did a great job mixing and mastering. Uh, mixing and mastering, we had a. Uh, Brandon Boatwright from Audio Siege. So yeah. it was really cool, man. I, I had a great time recording and great time releasing it. We should be having an album release show pretty soon once we get the physical copies in and all that. That's it's, it's just expensive. Dude. Of course, dude, of course. How do you think like music has changed? Like you're writing music now versus when you were writing 10, 15 years ago? Like what's uh, changed? Um, I, I just, maturity, man. Um, I'm not trying to be the fastest. I'm not trying to be the, the flashiest anymore. Um, oh, let the people know you do play drums. Oh, yeah, on that I, I play drums. Yeah, I play drums. I, yeah, I guess uh, we just all matured a little bit, man. I felt like uh, Triumph Over Shipwreck, which we did for 10 plus years, mm -hmm. um, we always just tried to push the most extreme, like, let, oh, let's write the fastest riffs, let's write the craziest riffs. Whereas with No Suffer, we just wanted to be kind of raw, emotional, and just super aggressive, just straight yeah. to the point. We cut out all the fillers, man, and just kind of gave you the, the meat and potatoes, man. So do you guys plan on touring? I know with Triumph Over Shipwreck, you guys were like, it felt like you guys were on the, the road the whole year. So what um, about with this band? So with No Suffer, we've tried to play smarter, I guess you can say. Um, I had a good talk with Jace from the number 12, um, and he was just like, yeah, just you know, kind of conquer locally, regional, and then national. And um, that's pretty much what we did with Triumph, man. We were two or at least 230 days out of the year each year um so no stuff we're like okay let's uh let's see what kind of festivals we can play yeah let's see what kind of uh weekend runs we can do because what we found out is like touring's you expensive. oh dude touring's expensive uh there's nothing lavish about it fun fact jay actually took me out on my first tour back in <laughs> 2012 i think yeah and it was a blast it was but, fun man dude it was a blast but yeah but, it's an expense it's, it's just different now man uh, you, you like you have the streaming platforms um you have YouTube and all that stuff is really cool, but um, people, if they just want to see you live, all they gotta do is type it in now. Whereas like back in the day, you had to come to a show. show. Yeah, so. Shout out um, chicks. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ron, my man. <laughs> um, so now it's just, you gotta play a little bit smarter, man. You really have to use social media as much as uh, some people are against it. You have to, you have to capitalize on it. You have to have a strong presence on, you know, Instagram, Twitter, yeah. wherever, anywhere. Uh, the more places, the better. Um, mm -hmm. I agree. We have people buying our album like in Indonesia and stuff like that. <laughs> That's sick. It, it's weird. That's sick. Like, yeah. It, but it's cool, like, cause it's just social media, just the power of social media. True. Um, even more so, like the the powerlifting coaching that I do, the remote coaching, the online stuff. People that would never be able to 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 reach out to me or even know who I am. Yeah. They're able to like, oh god, like, you, you know, up. this guy. Yeah, I found this guy on Instagram. I hit him up, and you know, so on and so forth. So, so it's super cool. Like even you with the, you know, with the vlogs and stuff, man. Um, it's it's cool. You could just do your thing, paste it up everywhere, share fun. it, and it gets done. You know. It's been fun, man. It's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, John. 
<laughs> really quick to end this clip, Photoshop you right here in the middle of us. <laughs> right. oh, or let's put fuck. some let's put some no suffer in the background and hold it real quick. All retired. My, the, my <laughs> face all surprised. Wow, you still got the moves. <laughs> thought you retired from washing, bro. That's what I thought too. I walked up in, in Cali to that harm's way show. I was like, ha 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 Kind of sad I didn't get to work out today, but I'll be back. Um, shout out to JL t for taking the time to sit down with us and do this interview. Alrighty guys, so make sure you check out Counteract Training, No Suffer. Um, JL's a really dope guy that puts in a lot of work into those projects. So we're gonna go ahead and put the links in the description so you guys can check it out. And that's the end of vlog five, I think. I think, did I miss something that we should have said? All right guys, like comment, subscribe, and we're going to keep putting out these videos for y'all, so stay tuned. <laughs> Bro as fuck. Hey, Jay. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, I'm done.